This is the Schmo with the Pro with the always fashionable coach, Eric Barasin, here in Abu Dhabi, the captain. How we doing? I'm doing great. It's hot as heck here, but uh, I'm used to it. You know, I'm from Arizona, so. Well, you got that heavy vest on there, Captain. No wonder why it's extra hot here. Plus, it's humid. It's over 100 plus degrees here in Abu Dhabi. It's 100 plus degrees. It's beach time. Uh, but this heavy vest is actually Weens Pro. Uh, it's like a electro whole wireless whole body electric stimulation. I'm actually working out with it right now. So um, I got it for me and my fighters. I'm one of the first trainers in the world to get it uh, since I have the number one team in the world. So, my fighters are going to start using this now. You already see Paulo today at weigh-ins, how well he looked, how ripped he was, how strong he looked. And uh, we're going to see more Saturday night. Yeah, let's talk about Paulo Costa and the weigh-ins. He sported his black belt. He whips up the white belt. Where does that idea come from? We see Triple C Henry Cejudo with the theatrics, with the snake, with the robe. Can't help to think uh, it's a little connected here. I think it was. I think, you know, Henry couldn't come here, but I think his spirit's a little bit uh, here in Abu Dhabi. So, uh, you know, that that first initial uh, meeting between Paulo and Israel, I wasn't there, but a lot of people were saying, oh, man, the hype is gone. And I was like, oh, no, it ain't. I was like, wait till Saturday, wait, wait till Wayans. I'm sure Paulo will come up with something. And for sure enough, look what happened. Oh, yeah. It's going, it's going viral now. Yeah, that thing's going viral right now. And now talk to me for a second. You brought a bodyguard with you. He was the one who spray-painted his hair pink. He was the one doing that other viral video, running inside the cage. Right. Where's he at? Soul Glow. Vander Tokino, he's actually a Muay Thai world champion. Uh... Uh, we brought him in for to be the main sparring partner to, to be Israel Adesanya's clone. And you know what? I was actually surprised at the initial face-off at Yaz Beach, how uh, he, the size of Israel Adesanya, who's as close to pretty much the same size as Paulo, Vander's reach, Vander's height, is uh, Sogol's height, Sogol's reach is much much taller, much longer, and uh, his striking's even better than uh, Adesanya's. And uh, so he also has been uh, shot before. He took a bullet from one of his friends. He can show you the hole. And uh, so I was like, you know what? We're over here in Abu Dhabi. Um, I should, probably shouldn't be by myself with all those city kickboxers. There's about 16 of them here. Well, you really stirred the pot there with those guys. Yeah, you know, hey. That's what we're here to do. When you got the number one team in the world, you got a target on your back. So, um, wearing your vest, whether, whether it's SBG, city kickboxing, it doesn't matter. We're here to conquer what's never been conquered, burn the ships, and take the castle. So, here's the real big time question for you, Captain. You're the wrestling coach. You're brought into camp for specific reasons. He's got the jujitsu credentials. Are we going to see some wrestling in this fight? Well, the captain did not fly all the way here through two days in quarantine in London, another two days in Abu Dhabi uh, for nothing. You're going to hear who, who else is, is going to be calling out uh, for the eraser to take down Israel Adesanya and, uh, you know, practice some social distancing by separating his teeth Six feet from that bullying mouth of his. I didn't like what he said about Hamza Chemaev. Um, so we, uh, you know how you know how you put a bull, you know how you beat a bully. You put him in the cage with the eraser, lock him in the cage with the eraser. It all goes down here Sunday morning. That's the captain, Coach Eric, about a scene. I'm the schmo. We're out.